for the undisputed UFC Forage Chuck. And that is it. Dog Rose Namajuna. She's out. She's out. Get it all over. And now you just with a two tactics. I mean, she's a special fighter. She's only 25 years of age. The real question is, is she ready? That is it. It's over. Oh, Rose Namajuna. Queen. My ultimate purpose as a martial artist is protect myself at all times and help others around me. You know, life is a fight. At least that's my experience. Just keep going. Should we go ahead and roll? Okay, sound speeding. This is an interview with Rose. Take one more. Putting it all on the line, what it feels like? Uh, wow. Uh, that was the most flat performance that I've ever had. I really just didn't care about being there. Unfortunate end to her title reign here tonight. For like a whole year, I just didn't really do anything and didn't know what I was doing. I'll see if I'm still interested in this. What do you mean about that? Are you not considering to run for the title again? No, I'll just, I just want to do something else with my life right now. I knew that I was good, but I just made that realization, like, this is not the sport to be half-assing it. Like, just to show up on a day where you don't really feel like it, like, you got to be all in. I'm sure I cried a lot. I'm sure Pat remembers more of it than myself. There was lots of beating myself up and, like, not feeling confident. But over time, I think just doing little things, like, helped build my confidence again. And so it was just, like, it was a rocky road. <laughs> It's like when you create a big mess, you have to like kind of clean one little corner at a time. You can't just snap your fingers and everything be perfect, you know? Throughout the whole process, there was times where I would like sort of text back and forth with Dana. He wanted me to fight for the belt and fight Whaley, but I just wasn't ready to. And then eventually I got to the point where I was like, I just want to fight Andres first because I can't rightly go into a title fight without correcting the mistake. So much was made, though, of your mental and physical preparation, but you seem like you were having a lot of fun in there tonight. Is that fair to say? I just was in the right state of mind. That's everything. I think everybody was sort of like looking for who's the strawweight queen because the belt had kind of tossed around ever since I beat Joanna, and everybody's like looking to Whaley to be the one, but nobody could really commit to that until she faced me. Whaley brings lots of toughness, speed, accuracy, and I think, you know, the normal, like, hardworking things like that, determination, but I think she just brings a whole nother level to it that most girls don't have. It's like climbing a mountain. You can be prepared all you want, but it's gonna be tough. Ultimately, it's like what you're willing to go through because if you're not willing to go through some suffering and things like that, you're probably gonna quit. Rose rises to occasions. That's what she's in this sport for, to find out what is her spirit? Like, who is she? I think this is her greatest challenge, and I believe we are gonna see the best version of Rose Namajunas to date. Here we go! There's really not much conversation that happens in the locker room before the fight. It's more just like, kind of getting ready and hit pads. I don't know, from there, everything else is sort of a blur. It's your time, let's go. I mean, like, I don't want to make it sound traumatic, but it kind of is traumatic, you know? But if you've ever been in a car accident and everything sort of, like, slows down. But everything's, like, also super fast. Yeah, it's, like, psychedelic almost. What was going on in my head was, I mean, there was times where I was like, I feel good, I feel this and that. And then it was like, oh, my arms feel like noodles. And then I'm like, no, they feel great. And then, you know, just kind of going back and forth between like confident, unconfident, confident, unconfident. She has the potential to knock me out or, or hurt me bad or submit me. And I was like, no, fuck that. <laughs> like, I'm the best.
The feeling that I had was just being patient, not force anything. One of the things that we talked about, John, was the importance of Rose's movement. She's got to be light on her feet. She's got to create a lot of angles. I kind of go to one side and then I go to the other and I start to like open her guard. As I was moving around, I started to notice like her guard start to open and I just saw like this part of her chin. It was almost like just the stars aligned, like it was the stars aligned and my body just filled in the spot and left leg came up. And then I just saw her body collapse like a tree. Like, I did it, but it was really, like, this part of God's plan. Whether or not that's something you believe in or whatever, you definitely felt something when you watched it. I mean, you knew you were witnessing something special. I mean, that was a Bruce Lee kick. Lil Wayne was talking about making a song about me, and then there was, like, everybody, the whole world was on fire. <laughs> that was a... It's a pretty lit performance. Stop, Rose! You shook up the world again! I did it again! Rose, there's some special moments in MMA, and I, I feel like I just witnessed a real one. I was riding the high for a few months. When I came back home, I didn't sleep for like two days. <laughs> it was um adrenaline rush for like a couple months. Thug Rose, ladies and gentlemen! The champion of the world! Yeah, couldn't write it any better. <laughs>